This duck is gonna be drenched in soy and then roasted all golden brown in the oven. And I wanna turn the oven on right away to 500 to get it roaring hot. Get this duck going. I start with six cups of water, three quarters of a cup of soy sauce. And then for that little touch of sweetness to kind of glaze the skin and counter the salt from the soy, a third of a cup of honey. I'm just gonna bring the honey, soy, and water up to a boil. And that gives me a minute to look at my duck. Now I have a lot of excess fat here around the edge. And normally, I might clean that off. But the truth is, I want to roast this duck and get all those drippings, let that fall down into the pan, and I'm going to steal that and use it to cook my lentils and my cipollini onions. I'm going to put a little green peppercorn glaze on this duck once it comes out of the oven. These are green peppercorns in their own brine. And I want to sneak this wonderful salty brine into this foundation, just to add that extra bit of sort of vinegary, salty kick. Pick it up, and right into this lovely warm, did you hear that sound? It was kind of like a little like, shh. I'm not cooking this, I'm just infusing the skin and the duck with this soy and this honey and this warm water. And this is kind of like when you put a warm washcloth to your face after a long day. This is just gently opening the pores of the skin and allowing that soy and honey to go in. Now, as far as I'm concerned, we all know that that breast meat is the cash money. That's what we really want to see golden brown and glazed when it comes out of the oven. So I'm going to finish roasting the duck on its breast side and instead start it in a really hot oven, breast side down. So with nothing in the cavity, just that light glaze on the outside, I'm going to put this in my 500 degree oven. So right when I put it in there, I'm gonna turn it down to 400 and cook it for about 20 to 25 minutes at that fairly high heat to really get the skin going. Now this is sputtering with that wonderful fat that's accumulated on the bottom. And look at how nice and golden brown and shiny the bottom of the duck looks. So this is just like flipping over your Thanksgiving turkey or a simple roast chicken. Gently lift it up, and I'll just flip that over on its other side. I wanna just steal some of this wonderfulness from the duck. Now I'm gonna use this beautiful fat to cook my cipollini onions. And I can smell that little soy and honey bath we gave the duck before. I can smell those flavors just permeating the duck, and I can even smell it on the fat. And while I'm at it, why don't I just give the top just a quick baste with some of that fat. Just to start to get that little golden brown top going. And now I'm gonna put this back in the oven at 400 degrees and cook it for another 45 minutes to an hour. I wanna be ready to hit it with a really nice caramelly glaze laced with green peppercorns. I start with a quarter cup of champagne vinegar. This is like the pure raw acidic element, like when you put vinegar in a salad dressing. Now for the salt factor. Much like the salt bath for the duck, I'm gonna do the same thing here by putting a quarter cup of soy sauce in there with the champagne vinegar. To go with that, a quarter cup of honey for that little straight sweet factor. And also, when this cooks down, that honey is really going to be the foundation for that caramelly glaze. Now, I want to add a little touch of fortified wine that's going to give it a little dryness and a little depth of flavor. So I add about two tablespoons of a dry marsala. And then the last thing, remember that brine I stole from this jar to bathe my duck? Now it's time to pull out those green peppercorns. If you get a little brine that falls in there from the bottom of the jar, even better. I'm not gonna even stir it. I'm just gonna let all those flavors bubble down together on the stove until it becomes that caramelly glaze that we dream about. I haven't even touched it, but just listening to that sizzle, it speaks for itself. 
Now just with that excess fat that's still in the pan, I'll just do one last baste. Now these are these little moments that as a cook, you really get to share with yourself. Take that glaze. It's got that wonderful green peppercorn, honey, and soy combination with the brightness of the champagne vinegar. This, to me, is truly a religious experience. To pour a honey soy glaze over a duck is to know you're alive. I'm just gonna put this to the side for a few minutes and allow it to rest and let those juices flow back through the meat. I'm gonna carve this duck because I wanna share with you just how simple it is. Just cut around the thigh. If you could just smell this soy and this honey on here, it's intoxicating. Now, straight down the middle. Pull that breast away from the bone. How can you not stop and sniff? And just cut away that whole breast. And I'll just finish it, that last little dousing of the green peppercorns and that glaze. And now we're gonna enjoy it. It has that wonderful caramelly skin, picking up all those flavors, the green peppercorns, the soy, 